Episode 9 is set to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, when we look at the Skywalker saga, we do know that J.J. Abrams plans to do amazing things with Episode 9 as a film that's really going to catch us by surprise when it comes to all of the different twists and turns that we'll be entering into this movie. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc., one of which has all to do with the character of Rey and a major hint and or indicator of Rey's son at the very end of episode 9. Specifically, a description of Rey sitting on a grassy hill with a large Jedi temple-like structure in the background with the sun setting. It's described that Rey is sitting in front of a young boy in Jedi robes with black wavy hair and has a deep resemblance of Ben Solo. His skin is described as pale white and seems to be around the age of 6 or 7 years old. It's said that this is a moment in which Rey is handing the young boy his very own lightsaber. Additionally, it's described that Rey has a special connection with the boy. The last goes over Rey and the child walking toward a pair of horse-like creatures, eventually riding the horse creatures to the Jedi-like temple structure in the distance. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this. Now, like I say, this does fall directly in line with what we learned last July of 2018 about one of the young boys with black hair being cast for a major role in Episode 9 for one of the acts in the story and would be acting alongside Daisy Ridley. Now, a lot of people have been wondering exactly who the young boy really is. Now, this is most definitely a big hint that this is indeed Rey's son in Episode 9. Two things is that it's described that this character has a deep resemblance of Ben Solo, and number two is that Rey actually has a special connection with this character. So, like I say, we do know that Oscar Isaac just the other day confirmed that this is indeed going to be the end of the Skywalker saga forever. Now, is there still a chance that they're using this as a form of, uh, like, as a form of insurance if they ever wanted to fall back on the Skywalker saga again if the new Star Wars trilogy by the Game of Thrones guys failed? And, of course, whatever happens with Ron Johnson's trilogy, if they ever want to fall back on the Skywalker saga, it seems as though that this could very well be used as insurance in order to revert back to that whole entire idea of returning to the Skywalker lineage. So this whole entire setting, it sounds very similar to what was shot over in the Scottish Highlands. Over in the Scottish Highlands, we do know that they filmed a lot of scenes on the grassy parts of Episode 9, a grassy world, if you will, that's going to be a part of this movie. And in this particular sequence, it's described that they are actually on a grassy world in front of a large Jedi-like structure. So this is most definitely yet another hint about Rey's new Jedi Order, and that this young child, this young boy, is a part of that Jedi Order. Now, what I find interesting, though, is why would the boy have a deep resemblance to Ben Solo? And, of course, why would Rey have a special connection to the character? Like I say, the young boy that was cast back in July of 2018 to do scenes with Daisy Ridley over the end of the summer and into the fall of 2018 served as one of the big important sequences in one of the scenes and or acts of the film that would serve as one of the revelations in the movie. So you can really see how all the dots are starting to connect about what they really want to go for in the film. And it also connects to one of the plot leaks back in May of 2018, before they even cast the young boy, is when, you know, we learned that there was this plot device in the movie about Kylo Ren learning about a young boy being born from Rey. And this is actually said to be an epilogue of some kind, most likely, you know, well after the events of the ending of Episode 9. So I think that what J.J. Abrams is going to do, as much as I fear, I hope he doesn't do this, but I I really hope that the ending of episode 9 <laughs> is not going to be an ambiguous ending. What I mean is, I hope it's not going to be a very mysterious ending where you're wondering what happened? You know, what happened there? You know, exactly where are things going? What does that mean? Uh, what does this mean? You know, who is this character? I don't want things to end like that. I want to have nice closure at the very end of episode 9, just like what we got in Return of the Jedi. But hey, right? At the time being, 
at the very end of Return of the Jedi, everybody thought it was truly the end of the Skywalker saga. Chronologically speaking, of course, we got the prequels, but that was based before the events of the originals. So, with that being said, you know, the proof is there that they could always end this story with a lot of closure and just make another trilogy connected to the Skywalkers if they really wanted to. But, like I say, Disney and Lucasfilm, they're pretty, you know, much sticking with the idea. No ifs, ands, or buts. This is indeed the end. Now, Disney and Lucasfilm's plan of expanding the Skywalker saga and giving us a glimpse of the next generation could very well be just used in the form of an epilogue. What I mean by is a sequence that takes place, you know, well after the events of the ending of Episode 9 in either, let's say, in the form of a mid credit scene or an end credit scene of the movie. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.